the Himalayas in Nepal. These men are climbing 400 meters up sheer cliffs to steal from giant honeybees. They're the largest honeybee in the world and their stings are notoriously painful. So what could make men risk their lives in this way? Honey. These bees, like honeybees the world over, take nectar from the surrounding flowers and spit it into the cells in the comb. Enzymes in their saliva break down the sugars and water evaporates until the condensed honey remains. This honey will be the colony's sole source of food during the colder winter months, and they'll give up their lives to protect it. So the honey gatherers will not only have to deal with perilous heights, but also with angry bees. When the men finally reach the comb, they must manoeuvre sticks to work free a section of honey. With little protection against the stings, they must work quickly before being overcome by the bee's venom. The honeycomb is dropped into a suspended basket and then lowered to the ground. They leave a large section of the comb intact so the colony can rebuild its honey supplies. Job complete, the men can descend to enjoy their hard-won prize. Honey is made up of 80% natural sugars and so provides a vital energy-rich food source for these mountain dwellers. So prized is this product that the farming of arthropods for their honey has now gone global. Around 1.2 million tonnes of honey is produced worldwide each year. When you think that one little bee in its entire lifetime produces only about a spoonful of honey, that's a humbling amount of work from our arthropod friends.